I'm Goose and welcome to Scoop! Today on the show, Microsoft wants to make more games and stream them to you, the studio behind Minecraft Story Mode gets a restructure, and one PlayStation developer says it's the end of the arcade era. Plus, I get stuck into Mudrunner. What's that? I get stuck in Mudrunner. Oh, well, that sounds like far less fun. <laughs> But before all of that, it's time for the news. Oh, um, I'm still stuck. Little help? Thanks. <laughs> and first up, Xbox chief Phil Spencer has revealed some interesting plans for the green team's future. Spencer says they'll be investing more money into buying and opening new studios to create games, commenting that we need to grow. He also revealed that Microsoft will likely release a service within the next three years that will let you stream Xbox games over the internet to a variety of devices, not just an Xbox. Well, let's just hope our Aussie internet is up to it by then. And next up, Telltale Games, the studio behind titles like Minecraft Story Mode, has undergone a serious restructure. The major change involved letting go about 25% of its staff, about 90 people. The studio says that moving forward, it wants to create fewer, better games with a smaller team and use more proven technology to develop its games. Or in other words, use better game engines. I'm totally devo for those devs, but I'm sure they'll land on their feet. And finally, Housemark, the developer of fast-paced arcade games, says that arcade games are dead. In a blog post titled Arcade is Dead, the developer mourned the fact despite constant critical success, their games such as Next Machina and Resogun just haven't sold well enough. As a result, they plan to now move on to new genres, with their next project being something completely different from what people expect. As a final swan song for the arcade era, they released this music video for Let Me Save You from the next Machina soundtrack. Everybody's gone away now, and it still won't let me save you. Sigh. Well, arcade games will always live on right here. All right, time for a let's play. Let's go get muddy. Ugh. All right, I'm sitting down now for a hands-on with Mudrunner, a spin tires game, which is actually a spin-off of the original spin tires game. A rather unique title in that it had cars and vehicles, but it's not about racing. It's all about navigating really tricky and treacherous terrain in these giant hulking vehicles without getting stuck. So I've got my trucker's cap. <clears throat> I'm ready to head off road. Let's get muddy. Okay, this feels like the kind of game where I'm going to need to do the tutorial to work out how to control these vehicles. All right, okay, so the camera's not stuck behind the car. Now let's drive, release the parking brake and drive along the asphalt road. Cool, okay, handbrake off. Ah, okay, off we go. Okay, so we start in a Jeep. It's not really the giant truck I was hoping for. Whoa, you're a born and bred trucker. Let's just, whoa. Quite wobbly. Whoa. You've arrived at a muddy road. Engage all wheel drive and differential lock. Ah, now all those lessons my parents gave me about driving are starting to fall out of my brain. Okay, so we're in all-wheel drive and... Oh, we're getting muddy! Cool! <laughs> Through the puddle. Oh, look at those physics! That is some cool-looking mud. <laughs> okay, ah, uh, let's wash it off. Up out of there, yep. You're now approaching another truck. In Mud Runner, you can switch between trucks you've unlocked. Oh, cool! Okay, yes, so I think you can find new vehicles in the world. Change truck. Sure, the B130. Good work. This truck is rear drive and doesn't have diff lock. Oh no. We just learned how to use diff lock. Uh, release the parking brake, drive along the road. Sure thing. What is in the back? Flammable stuff. That's all right. It's, oh dear. The camera's quite tricky to wrangle, but um, where do I need to go? I guess it, it's like that so you can get out of weird situations when you need to move the camera. Each truck in Mudrunner is equipped with a winch that you can attach to trees or vehicles. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, quick winch. Uh, there's the winch. Attach winch to, okay, to a tree. Winch connected. If only it was that easy in real life. Oh, cool. So if I hit that, the winch just does all the work. It's just pulling me out. I'm glad that tree is strong because that would be really upsetting if I just pull the tree over. Come on, come on. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of grunting and stress as I squeeze my controller and try and get this car out of these really tough spots. Okay, I mean, this road really could use some work. I'm just gonna drive up on the grass. Even the physics of the water barrels, no, the, the, the fuel barrels? I don't know, they just look dangerous anyway. Garage, okay. Okay, unload. Uh, confirm. Oh, cool. The aim of the game is to deliver logs to the lumber mill. So let's install that add-on. Wow, wow. 
Okay. Uh, log carriage. Look at all this other stuff. This is kind of like playing with toy trucks. It's exactly what I've always wanted to do. Great, now drive to the log station. All right, and away we go. Oh, parking brake, parking brake. That's a little embarrassing. I feel like we could really use some country driving music. Editor, put in a little bit of a uh, country driving music for me, please. Ah, that's better. That wasn't far to go. And cut music. All right, we're at the log station. Okay, uh, choose your logs. Short logs, done. Now let's proceed to our final destination, the lumber mill. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, we're a little heavy. That's okay. It's a really pretty game. I mean, like, it's it feels like I'm out in the wilderness. Ugh. I, I feel like the company could upgrade their trucks a little. Out of the mud, out of the, oh, we're getting slow. I can't see much. What if we, uh, there we go, there we go. One order of lumber, freshly delivered. Unload. Voila, you finished the tutorial. That's easy enough. I'm a bona fide truck driver. Uh, I think we now jump in and try to challenge. Pick up a trailer, drive the rig to a small town. Easy. First thing we need to do is pick up a trailer. Oh, there's an in-car view. Look at that. <laughs> the turning circle's not great. All right, we're off-road. Not far to go, I can see. Ooh, through the puddle through the puddle. Maybe that's not the best idea right now. Yeah, look at that. Splish, splash, splash. And we're stuck. Okay, I restarted and I've driven successfully to the garage and now we're picking up a trailer. Let us never speak of that previous effort ever again. Backing it up. And that's pretty good. Attach semi-trailer. Ah, oh, whoa, okay, we are rigged up and good to go. Now use your map, and we have to get it. What? All the way out there. Let's go. Truck loaded. Perfect, I'm just avoiding puddles. Feels like something really important I should be doing. Are we stuck already? Ugh. Winch me. Yeah, oh, that winch is really handy. Attach the winch. And we are back on the highway. Editor, bit of highway music, please. <laughs> Who lives here? We should have, we, we've turned way too late. We meant to go up there. Okay, we've missed a turn off. So I'm gonna try and just take this off road. I think we'll be fine. Come on. Dang, nab it. All right, I give up. We're gonna leave it there. Yeah. All right, so that was a first look at Mud Runner, and although a little bit frustrating from time to time, I actually think there's a lot of good to say about this game. First and foremost, it's incredibly unique. The idea behind navigating this really crazy terrain in these big vehicles is something I haven't really done much of in games. And as we saw, that terrain is really unforgiving. It's got that mud and water physics that are playing together, and you can get really stuck really easily. The challenge is surprisingly fun. And then of course you've got all these tools at your disposal, such as the winch or diff lock. I'm still not quite sure what that is, but I feel like the longer I play this game and the more patient I am with it, the more I might actually learn about these big hulking vehicles and how they actually work. Seeing all that mud and dirt flying around as I spun my wheels aimlessly was frustrating, but at the same time, still a lot of fun. So I feel like I will dive back in and maybe try and get my lorry out of the lake. For now though, I might just call a cab. <whistles> Taxi! Ah, wet dirt, such a worthy opponent. Well, that's the scoop for this week, but don't forget to check back on the ABC Me app tomorrow for a full Spawn Point game review. Until then, goose out. All right, still a bit stuck here, so. No, no, totally stuck.